Hello all, it's Brian Drafke from Ion Technologies again. Um, we're gonna go through a little troubleshooting and maintenance for you guys today here uh, with our battery backup systems. You can do this with most battery backup systems. There's only a couple common tools that you need. Um, a battery tester, uh, what it does is it puts a load on the battery, tells us if our battery's good, bad, or um, whatnot. Um, an amp probe, this is important for the pump not so much on this. I'll show you a couple things that you can do to test even if the system's up and running like this just to make sure that the system's working properly. And a socket wrench or caressing wrench to disconnect your batteries. So anyways, uh, what we want to do first is general maintenance on a battery backup system. Um, regardless, a lot of guys may go through and they'll test their batteries with a voltmeter. Um, you could put a voltmeter on a battery, a uh, good or bad battery, and it'll show 12, 13 volts coming out of it, um, but you're not technically putting a load on it, and that's where a lot of people go wrong. They test them with a voltmeter, it shows 12 volts, and they say, oh, my battery's good. That's not the case. Um, what you really want to use is a battery tester on here, and I'll show you guys how to use this real quick. You can pick these up just from about any hardware store, or auto uh, parts store, stuff like that. They're fairly inexpensive. Um, I use this one. It's fairly cheap. I think it was like 25 bucks. I bought it from a store and it's very accurate. We put it up against some of the digital ones and it works perfectly well against the high expensive ones. So you don't need to go and spend a bunch of money on tools to check battery backup systems. So what we'll do here is we'll disconnect the Sun Pro. And we'll silence this, get the power off of it. And I'll go ahead and disconnect this. And I always put the bolts back in this somewhat just because sometimes on the top of these batteries, as you guys can see that, the nubs aren't that high, so it might be hard to clamp one of these ends onto it. So let me pull these off real quick. One thing is when you guys are disconnecting batteries or putting a system in, um, this end should be rubberized so in case it does make contact on there. Um, try not to make contact between the negative and positive on one battery because it could send out a spark. It actually weld the socket wrench to the battery and we don't want to do that. So I'll take pull this off to the side. I'm okay with leaving that one like that on the battery. It's not touching anything. It'll still give a good reading because we're actually not reading off the fuse bar. So what you want to do is on your battery backup or your battery tester, you want to take, there's a color coded negative positive take and put your negative on the black like I said they're all color coded and I'll put my positive on here and you guys can kind of see it's got a crack in here but it's still showing 13 volts on here on there so technically if you put a voltmeter on there it showed 13 volts of battery would be still good um, these are brand new batteries by the way too so and what I'll do is I'll put a load on this for 10 seconds and as you can see as the load goes on it it starts to bring it down now, if it was a bad battery or whatnot, um, it would actually start going down and show you bad, weak, okay. Um, we want to stay up in the 10 to 12, 13 volt area. So that battery right there is good. So what we'll do is we'll switch this over to the other side and we'll check our other battery on here. Again, still no load on it. It's showing 13 volts. Hold it for 10 seconds. Our battery's still good, still seen it. Now, if you guys can see in this, it does have a heating element in there, so you might get a little funny smell or anything like that. It smells like something burning. It's perfectly okay. It's actually the battery tester. Um, even on the other ones, it'll do the same thing. So we know our batteries are good, so we know that that works fine. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and we'll hook our battery backup system back up here. And just about any of the inverters, regardless if it's the Sun Pro uh, 100, the 75, we also have a couple other battery backup systems out there. There's the 30 ACI, the 35 ACI, and the 55. You're going to test them all the same ways. The 30 and the 35 will only have one battery because it is a 12 volt system. Uh, the 55 is also a 24 volt system, so it will have two batteries. It's pretty simple to test. 
on our battery backup systems, you guys will see again, there's a display screen on there, so it'll tell you most of your information right there. So let me get this hooked up. Remember, if you guys are putting a Sun Pro together, fuse bar first, negative hookup, and then go ahead and plug it in. And then we're going to do our positive side within 30 seconds. So we'll take that, tighten those down. So that part of the battery backup system is good. So what we can do next, after we put this together, here is we can actually take our voltmeter here, and this is a fluke meter. I think it's about 120, 130 bucks on it. Um, there's cheaper ones out there. You can get analog one. This one actually happens to be digital. Um, and I'm going to put it on. Uh, you'll see V for volts. It's going to be AC. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to unplug my sump pump from the side here, and I'm going to test my outlets. Nope, oh, that's the pump going off. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to stick these probes. That was a little close. As you see there on my output of my Sun Pro, I've got 127 volts. So I'm good on that one. Put it in that one. Sometimes you may need to finagle these around a little bit. There you go, 127 on that one. Now, that's with the AC power plugged in. The unit is actually running off a of house power. Now, if I was to take, and you guys want to check this also when you're doing this, is unplug your Sun Pro or your battery backup system. We silence it there. Now I'm in battery backup mode. It's actually running off the batteries. If I get this right... I'm still putting out 127 volts on that one. So I know that my battery backup system is putting out the right voltage for my sump pump to run. Now there, check both of them. There we go, we're set at the same thing. Remember guys, two outlets. One is for a pump, the other is for a high water alarm. Don't plug anything else into it. This system is only good for 12 uh, full load amps on it, so it's one of the things you want to watch out. So I'm going to go ahead before I plug my sump pump back in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my meter here. And I always tell guys when you're doing battery backup systems, um, if you're doing a battery backup system that isn't your primary and uh, battery backup system in one, is if you have one that's just set aside and it doesn't do anything unless it needs to because you have an everyday sump pump running, is run an amp draw on your pump. And... I've actually taken and I've made this extension cord. It's just got a male and a female outline. And what I did is I stripped the wires on here. And you can use either the black or white. It doesn't really matter because it's still going to show you amp draw. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into here. <clears throat> and then I'm going to plug my pump into this. Into that. And what that's doing is it's simply showing me that I'm going to show amp draw on here. Um, if your system like the Sun Pro is good to 12 full load amps, what we're going to do is we're going to run a pump test here. And if you bear with me a second, I'm going to run the pump. It's going to show me amp draw. See, it shows 3.2 amps, 2.3 amps. My pump just ran on there. So I know that my pump is okay. And the reason that I know it's okay is because if I go back to my pump cord here, if you guys look over here on my pump, it shows me right here, 4 amps. So I'm at 3.3, 3.4 amps on my pump. Um, I know that I'm still in a great threshold. My pump is still good. Now, if that was going up to 8 or 10 amps on that meter, I know it's time to change my pump. Um, where that comes critical is when you get into bigger sump pumps that pull high amps. Um, you get into the half horse, three quarter horse, depending on who the manufacturer is. Um, it gets closer to that 12 amp threshold it could actually pop that fuse bar in there if it goes into battery backup mode. So that's how easy it really is to set up the Sun Pro um, and test it out, do all your maintenance on it. Um, if you have any other questions, you can contact Ion Technologies or go to ionproducts.net. Thank you and have a great one.